Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs. Today is Tuesday, so it is Rolodex card day. <clears throat> there you go. So, um, yeah, I've pulled some. This is going to be a very simple collage. I think this video is great if you're a beginner uh, collage artist using these Rolodex cards. This is not part of the 100 day project because I'm not doing this for 100 days. I do it weekly. So I would love to have you uh, join in. There's no pressure. I find that these little Rolodex cards are perfect if you just, if you don't have a lot of time to create, if you're not sure what to do, grab a Rolodex card, grab three to five images, make a nice little collage. I think it's great practice. Like I said, if you're a beginner, it's great practice for doing, um, you know, moving on to larger collages. And, you know, you can play with stencils, you can do whatever, stamping, you can do whatever you want. So I would love to have you stick around. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And if you are new and you're, you decide you don't want to subscribe, I'd still love to have you leave a message and a like. I would appreciate that. Um, I'm just here kind of going through my inks. Because uh, I'd like to, you, as you know, for those who have been following along, I put a mood, I stamp a mood word on the back. And, um, yeah, and for all of you who are returning, thank you. I appreciate you so very much. And um, a big shout out to my members over at Patreon. So I grabbed a few things. I grabbed my matte gel the acrylic medium. I may use that. I grabbed a different colored stamp instead of black or distressed. I have my wonderful uh, typewriter um, stamps here. And, you know, I was, I looked online the other day because I'm going to be having a giveaway when I hit 4,000 subscribers. I want to have a really nice big giveaway. And I really want to include a pack of these. However, they don't make them anymore. Uh, these are by Illustrated Faith Day Spring, free to flourish, and they no longer make them. And these I didn't purchase from them. I purchased, well, I didn't even purchase uh, Robin, uh, my good friend Robin over on Instagram. Uh, she sent me a whole big stack of Bible study uh, ephemera and stamps and such that she had an overabundance of them. And she, she sent them on to me. Uh, and yeah, I really like to find, because I love these and I know others would really enjoy using them. So I'm going to continue my hunt for them because I would like to put something like that in, in my giveaway. So I'm going to set these aside. I like to collage in combos of three, five, or seven. I like odd numbers. I just think that that works well for me. This was a scrap that I found in my, I have a whole drawer behind me. It says miscellaneous ephemera to use and I went through my scraps and that's what I'm trying to do with these cards is use my scraps and I thought this would be really cute on here and I'm holding it up to my light source because I want to have this right in the center here so I think that will work out well and I do not want to use my um, my glue stick because it curls and warps the paper. So I'm going to use my Nuvo and I'm just going to try to spread it out here as best I can in the tube, from the tube. 
So I hope you're all having a good day. I'm actually making this video on Sunday. What is today? March, March 3rd. Um, because I, I have to hold this up to the light, so just bear with me a minute. I make my videos early because it does help me. And if you are a subscriber, or not a subscriber, if you're a member over on my Patreon, the minute I get this done, it gets uploaded. So you would get to see, depending on the tier, I think it starts with um, Lucky Dog. Um, I think that's the, the tier it starts with. It starts with the, um, you'd have to look. I don't want to speak out of turn. I just can't think right now. I've, I've had a very busy day. But you would get to see m most of my videos two days before they hit YouTube. So that's one of the benefits of being a member of my Patreon. And I think it's, I think it's fun to, you know, for the girls... That are members, especially when I'm doing the Marguerite Miller collages. Uh, they get to see them two to three days before I post them on, I post them late Saturday evening. And then that way, if you are a Marguerite Miller collage artist and you're having a hard time and you're not quite sure what to do or what to pull for a prompt, um, you can take a look to see what I've done. So here is our card. I'm not going to cut this out yet because I don't know where this other ephemera is going to lie on here. So I'm thinking, I pulled this here. And I thought I would just have a play, and this is going to be very simple. That's why I said this is a great, this is a great video if you are a beginner and you're just not quite sure what to do. Or the whole process, how to think it through. And collaging does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to, you don't have to make it difficult. You just, I think you just have to make it pleasing to the eye. And I think I like this here like that. All right, so I'm going to put that here. And again, I am not going to distress anything. I want this clean and very clean look. I know sometimes, you know, we start to distress when we're um, making junk journals and other things. And we think, oh, we have to do it for this. We have to do it for that. But you don't. Sometimes you just want a nice, clean page. That's one reason why when I work on the family scrapbooks, um, there's not a lot of distressing going on, unless it's the, the vintage. Now, I may do a little bit around here. I don't know. I just have to see how I put that there. And if you have a lot of stamps, um, this is a wonderful way to use your stamps as well. And the other thing that you could do, I know some gals have made comments in my videos where they say, oh, I have to find a Rolodex. You know, now I have to go out and get a Rolodex. I want to try this. 
You don't need a Rolodex. Use playing cards. I think that's a really, that would be a really fun way uh, to use some playing cards. I have a lot of playing cards and some I like, some I don't. And I think that is a really nice way to um, use up those playing cards. And as you can see, you just, you do not need a lot to make a nice collage. And what's this taking? All of maybe 10 minutes. So that's what I say. If you do not have a lot of time, you're killing time waiting for something else, um, and you want to create something or you just want to test something or try it out, grab a playing card or a Rolodex card and, and just play. Um, now I would like to use I like I really like this um, stencil. So I thought I would just maybe make I might do something right here on um, this stamp and I'm wondering what I might want to put on here. Don't want to put watercolor. Mm. I don't know about a color, I mean a, a color stamp. Hold on a second. Okay, I have all of these little memento uh, stamps here, and maybe this is a potter's clay. Maybe I could put a little bit over here. I want to try it first on a scrap. So that's the other thing that I advise you to do, is just try it on a scrap piece of paper, just to see how... It might come out and I don't think I would like that on there not with the ink I'm wondering if maybe it would come out different with my brush I have a I have my brush here so let's try let's do this Mm, I like that stencil though. Isn't that cool? So I think maybe this would be better if I just do a little stenciling Let's see if I put that Let's just give it a go. Let's just give it a try Um And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some of this ink off and just do maybe like a little shadow on here. Add a little bit more to the stamp area. Let's see how that works. Oh, I like that. And we can do a little bit over here on this side. There we go. 
go. Oh, I like that a lot. I think that adds, I think that adds a lot to that. I don't know, I didn't think of this first. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of tired today. Yesterday, which would be Saturday, I scrapbooked all day with my daughter-in-law. She wanted to get some, um, her Christmas photos done of her and my son. And she says that she's not that creative and she has a hard time. So we started, I had a ball. I cleaned one large section of my desk off where my, my, uh, where I have my sewing machine. I don't know if I want to put that stamp there. I mean, I really like that. But I think this would add... I think that would add to it as well. I like that color. Um, I cleaned a big section of my desk off, took off my sewing machine and a bunch of other stuff. So she sat to the left of me at my L. And then... Um, I sat where I normally sat. We had the nicest day. We started at, she had a nice workout. She came over, I think, about 9.30. She worked out in the gym first, and I got everything set up. And um, we were we scrapped until 4 o'clock. It was so nice. We had lunch together. It was like we were a little crop. I like that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... I'm wondering if I should put a little bit more right up here. Just to add a little bit here. Okay. And we'll see. And I'm going to try not to get any around there in that flower area. Yeah, I like that. I'll put a little bit. I'll put a little bit down here. There. Oh, I like that. I think that it really adds a nice little something and I think I what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add one more little one right here by the stamp yeah oh I love that stencil oh isn't that pretty oh I really like that that is so pretty and I think I will ink around this just a little bit Just a touch. Okay, that's pretty. Okay. So there we had one, two. I pulled, well, the backdrop, but I had three items. I had that, so it's still... Oh, let's see here. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. My little, my little pad to cut on. And we will get this. And you know, if you work with these and you say, "Oh, I don't, I don't have a lot of different items that I can choose from," well, make a series. Um, you know, if you're a stamp collector and you have a series of stamps that you would like to use, use them. If you collect birds, use your your birds, you know, if you fussy cut birds and, you know, things like that, use your birds, use flowers. You don't have to make it complicated. It's just to keep your mind moving, enjoy the process, enjoy something new, use something that you haven't used 
in a long time, say stencils, you know, and the such. Doesn't have to be a fancy tag for a journal. Um, you know, if you just want to start out slow and build up, this is a great way to do it. And you'd have a nice, a, a really nice little collection of cards afterwards. Last year, or two years ago, I participated in Birdtober. And I didn't see anything about it this year. So I didn't participate. But I found my book with all of my images in it. And I'm gonna show that to you really quick um, because this is something else that you can do. And I would really like to get back into it. If you'd like me to create uh, the collages that I'm gonna be showing you for the Birdtober um, on my YouTube channel, please let me know in the comments. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. That is so, I think that's adorable. So on the back here this week, I'm going to use my clay, my potter's clay, because it'll match the front. I have my little stamp doo my stampy doo doo here. Um, my mood today is actually it's, Um, it's my my feeling, my mood is I'm tired. Um, I don't know why. T -R -R -D. Um, I think I'm tired because I had a I had a really big long workout today. I got in the gym and I did my weights and some aerobics but it's a good tired it's not like a oh I'm too tired to do anything but it's just kind of a lazy I haven't been lazy today t-i-r where's my r um, just tired t-i-r and D tired okay so there is today's mood all right Tuesday could be a different story but I'm making this on Sunday <laughs> and today I'm tired so I'm going to set this aside, all of this. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go get that book. I want to show you an other collage idea that you can do at home. And these are made, I keep these in my, I'm going to raise this up a little bit. Keep these in my Better Homes and Garden book. I have a few of these. I have the original one that my mom had that I, I use as a reference book. I will not cut that up or do anything. And then I purchased two others to play with. And I keep this in my craft room so I can look at it and, you know, just look at all the pretty pictures. But again, they're collages. So... I participated a couple years ago, so that would be, what, 21, 22, um, in the Birdtober Collage Challenge. And this here, um, this is just a image from the Commons on Flickr, and I ran, printed this off. Let me just list this a little bit more. I printed this off and then all I did was just add a few pieces to this and I 
stamped out Birdtober here and I put some, some of my favorite washi tape here. And each day, this was a daily um, collage project. Each day I made a card. Now these cards are five by seven playing cards and you can buy them on um, Amazon. And I really enjoy playing with these cards. I just think they're wonderful, okay? And I can put a link in the description below as to where you can get these five by... You don't need to buy them. You can just take a five by seven piece of paper cardstock and round the corners. And the the bird, this the, the first one was rooster. So I did rooster in white. And this was a painting by a wonderful artist down in Key West. This came out of my Key West book. This here is a sticker that you would put on a piece of mail. And then I just took some tool and I created a skirt for her and sewed that on. So she is there with her, her rooster. Um, this one here is the Campo Flicker. And it says, I want to fly like an eagle. I love, I just love these cards. The background is from a book about a rabbit, a spirited rabbit that can fly. And I put the bird here. So it looks like he has those beautiful wings and he's sitting on top of the mushrooms here. The mushrooms is a translucent um, sticker that I put on there. And then this one is the penguin, the macaroni penguin. And this is an image of Alice in Wonderland. This here, I cut apart a playing card. So I, these are her balloons that she's holding. It's the, the spade, the club, the heart, and the diamond. And um, this is a, obviously a macaroni penguin out of my book with a piece of ephemera here. I stitched around this and added some vintage flowers. And then this here is the blue-throated hummingbird. And this actually, I made it go horizontally, all right? because I wanted, this is a beautiful um, fussy cut flower that I had. And then I cut the hummingbirds out. This is the, the female and the male. And I just added some very simple uh, ephemera here. And then the name of the hummingbirds. This here is a, um, a digital die cut can't think of who I, I know who I got it from, but I can't think of the name. And you cut these out with your X-Acto knives. It, these come, um, they're kind of like nesting all into each other. So they start small, get bigger, bigger, and then they get very large. Um, and I love, I love that, that digital kit, that set. Um, this one here is the swan. We had to do the mute swan. And so I grabbed some background paper, added some fairies, um, some beautiful stamps of Queen Elizabeth, and then a nice, I think this is, I think this here is a rose or something, has something to do with the swan. Um, and then this one was, this was a fun one, the zebra finch. Um, I did this with the, skull because I think this was might have been around a Halloween or something and I thought that would be fun to use the skull these are the two zebra fin finches the male and the female and again this is some paper this was taken I, I don't know this is a, was a famous artist or somebody behind this head and I just put the skull over it um, I think it's Charles somebody a picture of him this is out of a floral book. And then this is a this is a fussy cut here that I took out of a black and white um, flor floral book. I love using black and white, making black and white collages and adding a splash of color to them. This one here is the Piolated Woodpecker and Born to be Wild. He's sitting on the uh, trunk of an elephant. So they're having a nice little chat. And I did a little bit of stamping here added some 
floral up there. Added another stamp up there. This one here is the secretary bird. And I thought this was just a really fun collage because when you think of the secretary bird, you think of a secretary. And this vintage gal here had all these feathers and plumes on top of her head. So that reminded me of a nest. And I just thought it would be really fun. Um, I wanted to put the Indian dot in, in there because that does have a wonderful symbol when the women wear their dots. And I just thought this was very, very cool. So just a little bit of paper here and there, ripped and torn. Uh, this one here, oh, I didn't put the names of these. Um, gosh darn. Yeah, I don't have the names of these birds. But this was from a children's book, The Three Girls. And I put this bird sitting on the shoulders of this gal here with the other one down here and a little bit of um, flowers. And now we have the um, Carillion Warbler right here. And this is a great image of Dick, Jane, and Sally. And they're holding the umbrella up for her so the birds don't poop on her head. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So I really like that. I think that's cute. And again, a collage doesn't have to be where you're you put so many things in it. It can just, like this, a, a children's book page, and you add something to it. Okay, this one here. This is the um, Crested Drongo, which is a beautiful blackbird. And I just thought with the, um, the oh gosh, what do you call it? The daffodils. The daffodils, it just the two colors go wonderfully. And then I just added some scrapbooking paper behind it, cup of faux stamp, and another piece. This little girl down here I thought was cute because if you can see, she's holding she's holding a bucket of water and this says flowers and she's she's watering the flowers. And then I have these two here, which is fun. This is the Philippine Eagle, all right? And I just thought that this poor gal sitting here playing the piano, he's right here in her face. Doesn't look like he likes what he's what he's hearing, but she's playing for him. All right. This one here is the red-necked avocet. I think that's how you... And this is a water bird. So I just added a saying from the... Um, uh, this is Ralph Waldo Emerson from my old calendar and added some fish little bit of stitching and that's that. Uh, this one here, the three little maids, they all went out for a stroll and they came upon this northern lapwing. So I thought that was a really cute image. And that's why these collages are nice. When you run across an image like this and you don't feel it can fit into a journal or a scrapbook page or, you know, you want it to go in a special spot, put it in a collage. This one here is the peach-faced lovebird, and this one is just so sweet. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Um, it just has the sweetest little face, and again, it's. I tried to keep neutral with the blacks, black and white, a couple little pieces of ephemera, a stamp. I love to use my stamps. Um, here we have, um, this is a Christmas one, and this is the northern bullfinch, and I just thought this was very pretty. So I wanted to do a Christmas theme with this. And I love the the yellow gingham behind it. I think it just makes these birds and everything else pop. And then here we have the common, my, I think you pronounce it mina. Um, and this back paper is from Gail Agostinelli. This is one of her digitals. And then again, this is from a children's book. And there's a bird flying out here. So I thought that would be appropriate to have the bird there because the father's pointing to that bird. Nice little butterfly. And then here we have um, two turtle doves. And again, this is a, this I believe is a Miss, I don't know if this is Mrs. Cog's Crafts or not, but I printed this out on typewriter paper. And I love it when 
these images are on here. It just gives them a totally different feel. And then I took a, a ticket, ripped it, another stamp. This I did free stitching. And I love, someday we'll, we will do some free stitching in collage work. I love doing the free stitching. It just, I think, adds so much to a page. This one here I thought was really fun. This could be like a surreal collage. This is the Eurasian J. And this girl is having a quiet time out on her fence. She's going to, she wants to mail a letter. And she sees this big J coming down. He's got an acorn in his mouth. And again, just some stamp, love using stamps. Here we have um, the red-tailed black cockatoo. And shopping is for the birds. And this, again, came from a children's book. And I just thought that this was so appropriate. I must have been in the mood that day that shopping literally is for the birds. The background, you can see, I pasted on here with some um, Mod Podge. This is a sewing pattern. You can tell by the dots here and the lines. So I put this down, and then I sewed around it and added what you see there. Um, this is the Western Green Finch. And again, another children's book. I have a lot of children's books, and these images are so pretty. And now that I'm looking at these, I really want to do some larger collages with the birds, the floral, and the children's books again. This is a transparent butterfly. This is a piece of ephemera that it's a di from a digital kit, but I don't remember right now. These are all scraps. These I literally just took out of my scrap pile and added um, added to the collage. This one here is the Golden Oriole. And again, these are just scrap paper scraps, washi tape. This is a, a flash card. A little bit of stitching goes a long way. But I love the colors in that. We have another, this one here I thought was a lot of fun. This is the Yellow-Breasted Flycatcher Warbler. And I really like this collage a lot. I love... I love the um, the background, the plaid background, the butterfly, the skull again, and then the birch is just perched right there on his glasses. Okay, this here, this is the great blue heron, and again, very you know I, I always picture the heron. They're they're a southern bird. I see them down in Key West, but they're I'm sure they're all through Georgia. Um, Louisiana, and they're, I think they're a marshy bird, and I just thought that it would just, very earthy, earthy colors here, um, and I do like a little splash of red every now and then. This here, again, I love the black and white images. We have a little bird here. Uh, this is from In the Ink. That's who that, those, remember the, um, the hummingbirds with the little borders around them, that was in the ink that just came to me. And if you go over to In the Ink, she's on Etsy. You can also find her on Instagram. You can buy, you can get all of her ephemera here. And these are fun to to cut out. And you could actually watercolor these or use your markers on them, colored pencils, whatever. I like to use just the black and white. And again, these are all scraps. These are just scrapbooking scrap pieces that I put together. A little bit of stitching. And then these are the, this is the Egyptian vulture. Here we have, again, another children's book. And um, Dad's going out to the... This is the barn owl. He's actually going out to the barn. Got a little bit of a floral here. A nice piece of ephemera. And then the barn owl sitting there that the kids are looking at. Um, this here is the conure, which is their parrots. I think these are down in South America, but these are so pretty. And I just thought that these two little critters <laughs> um, kind of fit the mood here. This is just a black and white gardening picture. And this is after the last long rain, Theodore found himself in a strange land. These, This little saying here is from Tim Holtz. Um, these are his little sayings, and, and you pick them out, and you make sentences with, with them. So I thought that was cute. 
And then this one here is the cockapoo. And I wanted to use this image here of this angel because I just thought the colors looked really well together. This is an image again off of uh, the commons on Flickr. And it's of a big fern, obviously, and a, a potted fern. So I cut that out. I shrunk it down to size. And I love this big fern and plume coming out from behind the angel. And she's riding the, the I think, cacapo, cacapo. And this is a very slow, I believe this is a very slow moving bird. I like to look up the birds to see exactly I like to learn about them. And again, these, this was two years ago, but I think this is a very slow-moving bird. That's why I put the angel on its back. And then I added a pretty little butterfly. And then here we have Jim, who is working in the laundromat. <laughs> I've got a, I have a dry cleaning book. Um, and I just thought it would be fun to use some images in there. So... Jim is in the dry cleaners, and he is putting the clothes in to be dry cleaned. And then we got Grandma here waiting for her clothes to be cleaned. So she decided to pull up a chair, and um, her little cat, Lorraine, I <laughs> picked Lorraine. Lorraine is sitting on Grandma's lap. And then we have our I Pledge Allegiance to the flag stamps behind her. Um, because what's more American than having your clothes dry cleaned? I don't know. And then we have this beautiful parrot here. Absolutely. And she's holding on. She's holding on to the parrot's uh, tail feathers so it doesn't get caught in the, the machine. And I think that was it. That is my, that was my 30 days of um, Birdtober. So I, I, I would really like to start this up again. And if you, I'd love to let, ha, tell me if you would like to do collages such as this with children's books. And, um, and even if you don't, I think I'm still going to do them because <laughs> you can tell I'm tired. I'm getting a little punchy because they are just so much fun to do. And I think this is where I really found that I loved collaging is when this Birdtober challenge came up. Uh, because again, it you can be as wild as you want to be, and it's just fun. And I like when I I got all of my cards done. I went through, put them on the black um, cardstock pieces, and then I went through my book and I put them across from pages that I thought would go well. Later down the road, if I want to add more, I could add. You know, if I want to do playing cards, I could add my playing card collage there or whatever. So that is it for this week's um, little Rolodex card. Tired. Tired is the word of the day. Yes. So I want to thank everyone for joining in. I hope you enjoyed the video because I really enjoy creating these for you. And I love showing you past collages that I have done. And I hope that when you do work past, you know, past work, you take it out, you know, you can bring it to life again. And, you know, it's just nice to say, oh my goodness, I just love working with birds and florals or whatever, children's books, get back into it. Just because you've done it in the past doesn't mean you can't do it again. Or if somebody isn't doing it now, doesn't mean you can't do it. Art is all about doing what you love to do, what you enjoy, what you're good at. So just keep that in mind. And with all that being said, I want to thank everybody again. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd love to have you check my Patreon out as well. I really appreciate that. And um, I want to wish everyone a really blessed day. I hope the rest of your week is wonderful, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.